We need to take a star skiff to scale Gorge Waterscape. The Ambrosial Arbor can be sealed from that cell. Mm -hmm. Let's make haste. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And, uh, yeah. As Lady just said, that's what we gotta do. And, uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I was doing some things yesterday and I got an achievement. Which is basically just, a. Uh, well, that coffin dance. I kind of saw someone else do it and then I just realised that I could do it too. Because I think it's done after the Loach's companion quest and you just interact with the monitor and then you get this. So, yeah, at least that's done. And now I can move back to what I was doing and see seal off. Uh, the place we gotta go. The place we gotta go. Did Scar Star Skiff to uh, Scale Gorge and Water Escape and Seal it. Right? <sighs> it should be fun, right? I hope. That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. Yeah, and basically what she did to the big Tinyu snapped her neck. Just so her soul or something can be released from that. Released from it. And then it can go back to wherever it was going. Still, that was that was mean. I didn't like it. What worries me, Morris, just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large? Yeah, and if we can find the real Tinyon. It all happened so suddenly. But looking back, I think Mr. Yang was right. Tingyun was behaving strangely. She was fascinated with the Abundance's creations. Yeah, I, I thought Tin, I thought Don Hung said that that was a like a vessel made, and the, probably the real ones being held somewhere. Didn't that's what he say in the last one? Since she was an Amicaster dispatched by the Skyfaring Commission. It's evident that there must indeed be a person with her name in the commission. We'll have to let the Cloud Knights get to the bottom of what happened to the real Ting Yun. Unless we can actually find her. As for the Ting Yun who accompanied us all that way, it's like what Mr. Yang said. Her appearance was designed to sow seeds of doubt among us. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into her trap. It is a delve governed by the Vidyatara. Supposedly an ancient oceanic region transferred from the Vidyatara home planet. <laughs> After the Ambrosial Arbor was broken in two during the war, its roots were left gnarled and broken. Yet it never died. The Alliance decided to seal the Arbor within Scale Gorge Waterscape, entrust it to the High Elders of the Vidyatara, and rely on the power of Long Scions to constrain it. Well, then shouldn't, shouldn't we get one of them? It has been so long. No one knows whether the seal remains. Even if it does, I doubt it will hinder that spectral Lord Ravager. I've reported the current situation to the Seat of Divine Foresight. He made no further contact after we communicated at the Matrix of Prescience. He said he had important matters to personally attend to. The situation stands on the edge of a precipice. We must trust in the general. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I've watched the, uh, but like a, oh, oh, we're back with these guys. Uh, this is. Familiar with this place. 
Yep, it's the Alchemy Commission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. Uh, something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. It's been such a long journey, but now we're finally gonna meet some Cloud Knights. I'll be back with my unit. I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and I did. Though, we did take a bit of a detour. Yeah, it took us a long time getting here, too. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination, but to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. Okay. Meaning? Meaning, thank you, Miss Sushang. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. <laughs> you guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There will be Cloud Knights coming to escort you back soon. Uh, bye for now. Aw, why can't we wander off? Okay, a message from me. <laughs> no message. The messages never get sent. I wonder what's happening with those three. <laughs> the Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? I've delayed for too long. I need more information. Don't we all? Okay, time to get some info. Okay, that is where I'm going, so, uh, anything around here that I can pick up? The Master was defeated? No, no, that cannot be! Well, tough luck she was. Hmm, uh, anyone else? So yeah, there'll be nothing to pick up, but I can still look around. What's up? Don't worry. Once the fight is over, I'll personally escort you and Mr. Locha home. So you'll escort him to the express. <laughs> nah. He's good with that. You haven't been back home for a long time, have you, Master Don Hung? How did you know? <laughs> As home draws nearer, so our feelings grow stronger. I can see it in your eyes. Do you want to leave? Then do it now. <sighs> the Cloud Knights will soon check our identities. I have somewhere else to be. I've tarried here too long. But where are you going? And anyway, I thought you're definition was to go with the flow. You will soon get there. I'm a traveling merchant. I have one more deal to see through. Um, uh, where's your coffin? Wasn't that supposed to be on your back? Eh. Yeah. Leave it. The master must have failed to summon the protection of Sanctus Medicus. Her will must have wavered. Just you wait. I'll show you the blessing of Sanctus Medicus. Shut up! Shut up. I'll, I'll deal with you right now if I could. Ah, fine. <sighs> Anything else I can... Mingle with. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus started a rebellion in the Alchemy Commission. 
The Cloud Knights have the area locked down. It's not safe. Please, remain here for now. No! We will send someone to escort you back once the operation is over. Don't care. Lunatics, all of them. You saw the Ambrosial Arbor, I assume? I heard that's the work of those sorcerers. Still, I can't say too much. Military secrecy. The Arbor's resurrection is connected to the Disciples' Rebellion. I've heard those names before, but when? How did the others get drawn into all this? <laughs> We're ahead of you right now, that's why. You must be talking about the General's guests. Are they your friends? Oh, what a coincidence. They left with the Master Diviner not long ago. And it's all thanks to their courageous work that the Knights don't have to worry about the poison in Eve Mist Mansion. I received the good news from the front lines. They'll probably be back soon. Strange. You seem oddly familiar to me. Never mind. Too many misfortunes recently. I can hardly think straight. So, Dunhong used to get around then. then. And, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying before. I, I kind of like just uh, saw a, a video of. Uh, really? I can't press. Can't press that. Check my other stuff. Fine. Hmm. But yeah, there was, there was a video with Marge playing a record and it was basically about Don Hong and uh, his new appearance. And basically him linking to the reveal of an underwater sea. Basically he parts the sea to reveal it. And then the general also shows up. Even though I don't know what that's about. But, yeah. Wonder if we can actually get to that. I'm sorry. I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What a huge cauldron. This Orient cauldron is driven by the cloud hymn magic of our people, the Vidyadara. It drinks the water of the ancient sea like a whale swallows the tide and refines it into medicinal pellets. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Wait, what? Huh? Is that guy talking to Don Hung? Well, in the past, and basically saying our people. Is Don Hung and uh, the Vid Vidian one of those, one of that species, the long lived species? Okay, I would understand his dragon appearance later on, but. I thought they were more dragons and then they become less and less each cycle, right? Or am I remembering it wrong? I'm confused. All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyadara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. Uh huh? But I don't need any sort of device to help me command water. What more is there to learn? You are indeed the Chosen One, with endless potential. Yet, Cloud Him magic is just the beginning. Ooh! A Vidyadara Mirajako? 
Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? <sighs> these memories... No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. So... You, you are... the video... video... race. All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyatara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn. Uh huh. But uh... you are indeed. Seriously, that was a really important some thing you're supposed to have told us, Don Hong. Exiled from the Shenzhou. I'm no longer one of the scions of permanence. So. Yeah. We already know you were exiled. Gone from your dream that you had before we got here. <laughs> I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. No need to feel aggrieved. Vidyatara go through cycles of life and death, existing forever in this world. By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please, take care of me. Uh... <laughs> Who's that? Power, it's you. You've returned, High Elder. Eh? Ew. Something terrible is happening in Steel Gorge Waterscape. Please don't go any further. Your enemies, your enemies are waiting for you. Yes, but my friends are also there. I'm sorry. I cannot linger here. My friends have left. I must find them. You didn't heed us then, and won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were. Wait, is that from the conversation with an echo? It seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Waterscape located ahead. How could a Pastor Echo know exactly what they was going to say to Dan Hung? Really? How? I bet, yeah, if that was an Echo, who were they talking to to begin with? He's here. Hi, Blade. Kafka. Hmm. Right on time. That feeling, Kafka. It's welling up within me. That feeling. It, it's. Well, don't resist. Let the Mara strike you. Wait. So you seen his mom struck too? You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price. It's time. Time for what? You think changing form will help you escape? Escape. I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> you think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You 
You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death. Why? What did he do? <laughs> Not on my watch. Oh. You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Ching Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to. Huh? You. You look so familiar. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Quit hiding. <laughs> Your true <laughs> self revealed. Stop! <laughs> oh. You... I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. Really? The elder of the Vidyadara. Imbibe Lune. Okay. Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo. In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice. Uh, okay. I've heard of you in Bibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienjo. Sword, heed me! I have no interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Save your excuses for the Shackling prison! <laughs> Out of the way! Do not be afraid. So, this is why we fight him. Why we fight him. And... Yeah! Don Hung is an invidian. We didn't... I didn't know that! And... Yeah. Uh, and I think, if I remember correctly, he's an Conflict imaginary requires character. requires undivided focus. Okay, so I can use that. <laughs> <laughs> Better. But I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence! You're not getting away either! Is that so? <laughs> Let's heat things up then. Kafka? Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara. So it begins. <laughs> Swords. The veil to send you. Oh, Grace. Surrender. No. <laughs> right. <clears throat> What's wrong? Afraid to hurt the boy. Damage to the boy. You're all in on it. <clears throat> I wonder if the others are okay. They're fine. Gotta make this quick. Yeah, if I could use other stuff, then yeah, it would be quick. <clears throat> There's no time. <clears throat> uh. 
you my blade. The veil to send you. You two just won't give up. I only have one choice. Deserve no mercy. Can't delay any longer. So I didn't wish to harm anyone. But there's no other way. Forgive me. So what though so I can't remember. Was we actually told what I actually did to get basically banished from the Zhengzhou? Conflict requires undivided focus. Come on. Heaven search. It took me a while for even that to work. <laughs> Forgive me. I failed. This isn't over. Uh, it is. All of you listen to me. Stop. <laughs> uh, she's taking charge. And that's an unlosable fight, isn't it? So why... So why does that mean he isn't... It doesn't make sense that he's an opponent. It's an unlosable fight. So... Yeah. Well, Blady, are you satisfied? Just clearing the stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lawfu's hotshot general. Wait, the general? Ching <laughs> <sighs> uh. Yuan. Yeah. So, wait, but. Kaka, what the but which side are you on? Don't oh, I'm I'm confused. Uh, general Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo. And yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. My task is complete. And what was that? Just bring him out of Dunhung? Make him reveal his true self? Hmm. That it is. Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. It has been a long time, old friend. <sighs> I'm not him. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. 
Shall we go and see them together? So what, he's teaming up with the general now? <laughs> Seriously, secrets? Lunarescent depths, a realm of singular beauty. Skelgord's waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. You know the Vidyata are hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. <laughs> Dan Feng. <laughs> Wait, was that I? I am Don Hung. Whether Don Fung was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Fung, you must do something for me. Which is? Before I can let Don Fung die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Don Feng was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Fung is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I... I am the general of the Lo Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do. And yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You, you brought them here? <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Your friends are waiting for you. <laughs> so... Don Hung is in the video. Vidra. Well, whatever you want to say him. And basically their incarnation is a different personality, so it was Dung Fung. Now it's Dun Hung. And What is What is the name that they just called him before? What was that? Eh. I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of Abundance, the Stellaron Hunters, and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the Antimatter Legion. The hunt is far from over, yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. <sighs> from this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fu. Yeah, 
I don't think that'll be good. Will it? Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. Yeah, like what? Well, we have some echoes that we can talk to. Her hatching rebirth is complete. She left me all alone. Still, I wait for the day of my rebirth. Endless waiting. Uh, so... Yeah, that's something I have to deal with. Like if they become a couple, then go to hatch and rebirth, they forget the memory, they it's a different personality, so basically your love just walks out on you. Yeah, kind, kind of bad. Hm. As recorded in the ancient texts, this body of water was brought by my people from our homeworld. It formed part of the roiling deep. It is as pure here as it was there. Our dragon ancestors nurtured us with the water of life and bestowed us with the permanence of the Vidyatara. Okay. <laughs> uh. Do you know something? When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyadra, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor of the motion. <laughs> the Dragon Transmutation Inheritance was not intact after all. The Senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. The Vidyadra were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Don Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw, thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> the senior Vidyadara were sure of their scheme, but you cannot hide fire with paper. No, because fire always burns it. <sighs> okay, what's around here? Anything else that I can look at? Any more Hevidera to talk to? Ah. Over here. Waters of the ancient sea, cleanse me. Waters of the ancient sea, protect me. This world's good karma is settled. This life's misfortune is erased. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else? Is there anything else? Nope, I don't think so. Nope, I keep running into uh, a wall. Turn on this side. No. No. Look, your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go. Well, yeah, we wouldn't back down, would we? So we're caught up. 
Everyone's caught up. I sense a storm. Heaven search. No. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. Take this. <laughs> a foregone conclusion. Why was it? Ah, uh, just just leave it for now. Conflict is pitiless. Easy wipeout. <sighs> I know this sucks because seriously, how in the hell is this normal speed? It should not be normal speed. Heaven's search. Forgive me. This is our chance. Literally, that should be normal speed. This this should be slow motion. Literally, it is. Follow my charge. <sighs> I told you I could fight. Yeah, we all know you can fight. Times have changed beyond recognition. Literally, when? Let's go. Batter up! The strength I wish not to use. Yes, but you have no choice. Heaven's search. Ah, so. Keep pressing, you get to this. Max it out. No. Let's make it quick. And then. Ah. Take this. There's no time to lose. So, yeah, he plays differently. Like, you press Y to get to that state, but then you gotta press X to use it. But. Everyone else to use the other one, you press Y to use it, not just to prepare it. Mm. Seriously, again, when did you cast that? Here, this thunder. My turn. Him out. <laughs> and oh yeah, I've gone back to destruction too. I didn't quite know. I didn't I know what's down until just now. I sense a storm. I so wish I could use that with Don Hung. See, see where actually is. Heaven's search. Forgive me. This is our chance. You broke him. <laughs> Time for the master stroke. Radiant spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy. And hit the god of thunder. Rules are made to be broken. Conflict is pitiless. The strength I wish not to use. Yes, we have search. no choice. No. no. 
Follow my charge. Didn't work. <laughs> Thunder Guard! Strike! <laughs> Death by Thunder Guard! Xin Yuen, where have you been? <laughs> Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seats of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author. And turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Dunham! <laughs> uh huh? I is that. Don Hung? You. You are Don Hung, right? <laughs> What's with the horns? You're not even going to talk about his long hair. It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Fool, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here, and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The La Fu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. Okay, so come go home. <laughs> However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Law Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. <laughs> Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Yeah, like the saying goes, when the tough get, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. But fear, risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. Don Hung? Are you in or are you out? <laughs> oh, I, I can pick. Roll in! <laughs> Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <laughs> Hey! But as a descendant of the Vidyadara, 
I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the Law Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge Waterscape Delve and contain the Arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadora statue. Ah, oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... It was you. <laughs> the statue... Is that... You in a past life? Incarnation? Don Hung's brother? <laughs> oh, March. <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power. And their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Law Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. All right, let's go deal with it. Uh, let's see if I want to talk to people first. Uh, you scared the heck out of me. For a second, I thought you'd annoyed the general. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you. And it turns out the two of you are old buddies. So... What made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? <laughs> I was worried. Aww, how sweet. But... Mr. Yang and I have been holding our own. We're pretty much Sienjo heroes at this point. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Yay! Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. Okay. The general still has important matters to discuss with you. Please remain here. I was seeing if you wanted to talk to me, but guess not. <coughs> I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. <laughs> hey, you're welcome to stay on board. Okay, last two people to talk to, and then there we go. Ambrosial Arbor. 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 Ambros
Bibiter Lunae's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Okay, yeah, I can't remember that. Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? Well, you you could go ask uh Bilo. Why, why couldn't he have voiced her right now? Why did she only have a voice during cutscenes, during battle? But at times like this, she doesn't. Oh yeah, she has a voice when she's going, when she's walking through an, an area. But bits like this, nothing. But then again, I think that was just like her uh, body movements that she was doing. But still, could it still give her a voice though? Oh, and yeah, I think this is what I was actually referring to. Still can't do it. Annals mention that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins. And the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the Arbor. The Lofu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? No, we're here too. 
<laughs> I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. <laughs> General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Sienjo. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. Don't you have to protect the people? I understand your sentiments, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. Ah. The Ruin Author is Nanook, and... When is... the other? Huh. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knight's attention! Protect the people! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Because I will be dead. By her hands or by drowning in the water. <laughs> yes, General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. Do not sail above my head. <laughs> I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general. So she's next in line to take your position. Okay! Haha! <laughs> Yay! And... Ah... Uh, so... Do I have... I doubt it, but... Where's Dunhung? And do I have your new... No, I don't! Why can't I have your new form? Or better yet, give me the ability to switch between this form and that form. As I can do like as I can do with me, which I can change between having which path I'm going. You should do the same. Between Hun and uh what path you are when you're in your other form. But then again, it's a level four to a level five, so hmm. Probably understandable. Or we could actually get that after we're done with this. But I don't know. Okay, so first before we do anything, let's grab this. Ten. Stella. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, and then we just defeat her, which is going to be easy, easy to do, I hope. But, yeah, as, as I was saying, uh, because when, because I technically already saw all this, but I saw it as like a, yeah, it's, it's, it's from this, basically it already showed me all this stuff. But then again, I'm surprised that this didn't come out until the day I was actually doing this bit. But yeah. <laughs> but then again, it's only the it's only day two, so yeah. Okay, day two from all of it coming out, but obviously it's been three days. But yeah. I believe that is going to do it.
because I want to sa save all of this for the next one and take on Fantilia and hopefully get it all done in one. So, yeah. When, when I'm ready, or basically, I'll be going down there and going through and fighting. I, I, I just hope at the end of this we do get Don Hunk in his new form. I just want that because I do not want to end up having to summon him in the warp. Because that's. Because that, that'll be late. That'll be boring. I still don't know if I want you. Because Wind and Destruction are the only two that I do not have yet. For my team of eight. But yes, you will fit that role perfectly. But as like with other games, I am not particular a big fan of moves or whatever that hurt yourself to do damage. That's why in Pokemon games, I never like recoil moves. Take down. Uh, Flare Blitz. Uh, when... I, I know there's more, I just can't remember them off the top of my head. But yeah, I'm not really a big fan of them. So, but then again, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pulling for Kafka anyway because I'm because oh yeah. Uh, when can I get another six here and then I can pull another ten? How far am I? I'm 150. Yeah, I just wish that we could like get web events or other stuff to get more standard passes. But then again, when I finish buying the stuff that I need from her to store, every two weeks I'm going to be able to buy one pass anyway. So, but yeah, and I am kind of in the process of gonna max that out I, I don't know if I've done right but I think that is actually good on her but I, I I don't know you could probably say that all all the five star the five star light cones you can buy from her to store are specifically for basically you to use the trailblazer I think that's technically what they're for. But yeah, you can put them on other people. You know, then again, I'm surprised that we have Hunt. And we haven't got access to the Hunt Path yet. And we're going to be getting abundance at the end of this, I hope. But it does seem like it's working up to that way anyway. So, we get the abundance path after this. Somewhere along the line, we're going to be getting... Uh... Last uh, fire version for this, so we can get to E6. Then, as I said, we'll be getting abundance, and then probably gotta wait for the next update with story in it to get some Elon's Islands for that path. That's how I think it's gonna go. But until I get to the end of the, to the end of this, is basically all just guesswork right now. Right now. So yeah. So that is going to be it. I'll be going into that afterwards. But then again, that does look. I know we're going to be facing Fantina there, but that looks like the Ebon Day, doesn't it? From this distance. But yeah, enough of me rambling. That is going to be it. So, yeah. Oh. Bye.